Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a viewer writing in here with a question uh, that pertains to these two cameras I have in my hand. <laughs> the heading of the email is XT20 or M50. So this is the M50, the Canon M50. It's a beautiful little guy. Um, it's actually, I think, almost smaller than the X-T20 that I have in my other hand. It's got the big 70 to 300 on it right now. So that's the EF 70 to 300. So that's, that's a large lens for that. It's not an M-series lens. I've got it on with the Velo adapter. Um, this is the X-T20, and this is a great little guy too. Um, so uh, this is Gerson writing in, and he says, Hi, Matt, Junior from Brazil here. So, uh, oh, he's Gerson B. Jr. So he's calling himself Jr. Jr. from Brazil here. So I'm looking to buy a mirrorless camera with the intention to use it mainly for stills, mostly portraits and street photography, and occasionally for videos as well. I have already watched several of your videos talking about the X-T20, which is kind of my first choice, but the Canon M50 is making the decision harder due to its lower price. My question is, is the price difference worth what you get with the Fuji? P please feel free to recommend any other mirrorless under 1K USD. Extra info. If I get the Fuji, I'll buy the bundle with the 18-55, to which according to you is very good. Yep, I love that lens. It is right here. One of the nicest zoom lenses, um, uh, kit zooms ever made in my opinion. Quality's amazing. Optical quality's great. Uh, if I get the Canon, I'm thinking of buying the body only and getting a 50 since I'm not sure how good its kit lens is. I had a T5 in the past and the 50 F8 was one of my uh, favorites. Thanks a lot and keep up with the good work. Gerson B. Jr. Well, uh, thank you very much, Junior. And... Um, it's a tough call because I really like both of these lenses. The uh, the M50 is a nice offering from Canon. The X-T20, uh, as you'll know from watching this, the, the, the show, uh, one of my favorite uh, cameras, and Fuji's really done a great job with this. It's most of what you get in an X-T2 for a fraction of the price. Um, I really like that. Uh, the 18 to 55 there, the 28 to 4 paired with this 50 f2 is the is the beginnings of a beautiful kit. I, in fact, you could shoot most everything except ultra wide and telephoto just with these two lenses. Um, differences between the two, um, I guess you got to decide. Um, like for one thing, the XT20 has a flip up screen like that. Okay, instead of the uh, the, the nice thing about the M50 is you've got a full, very angle LCD that you can flip around back at you like I've just done there. That's a big advantage to me, especially if you're shooting video. I don't know how much video you're planning on shooting, but if you're a video shooter, that's really handy to have. Now, that said, the 4K is better in the X-T20. We got a little bit of crippled 4K. One of the nice things about Canon cameras is the dual pixel AF. It doesn't work in 4K. So the 1080, it does a really nice job. It's kind of like a baby Canon 80D with 1080 and uh, dual pixel. But when you go to 4K, you lose the dual pixel. And you got better autofocus on the Fuji in 4K. You also got uh, more options and I would say a better file and a better crop with the Fuji uh, for 4K. So if video is your cup of tea, the X-T20 is going to do better for you. Image quality-wise, these are both very competitive. The X-T20 with its X-Trans sensor... 24 megapixels, beautiful image quality. A lot of people really like the Fuji colors. And, you know, you, you know, if you like the Fujis, you're buying into a Fuji system, the look, the feel, the beautiful lenses. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Fuji's doing very well with them because a lot of people like them. The M50, on the other hand, uh, a lot of people like the Canon system. And the Canon M50 here is, is a very nice offering. It's very small, as you can see. With adapters, you can put on all of the Canon lenses like I've done here. Um, and there's a lot to be said for that, too. The 24-megapixel sensor in there is really nice. So you kind of maybe get into the store, get them both in your hands, fit and finish, feel how it feels to you. What do you like? If I mean, you're leaning towards the X-T20, I have no problem with that. It's a great camera and a better video camera. Um, I also really like the M50, though. So it's, a, it's you know for those reasons I've specified on both, Maybe that helps you make your decision. Um, let me push it back to the viewers. What would you guys do in this situation? XC20 or an M50, the mirrorless from Canon? Um, what would you do and why? Is it is it because you would like the M50 because you got all access to the uh, the Canon lenses with an adapter like this Velo or the Canon M adapter? Would you like the Fuji system and you'd rather go with the XT20? It's not a lot of price difference here, but I know they have had the M50 on sale. Uh, just both very strong offerings. Uh, if I was doing... You know, for me, if I was doing a fair bit of video, I probably would go with the X-T20. Depends. There's some things I would still shoot. Most of the time I shoot 4K, but some stuff, maybe vlogging, I wouldn't mind shooting 1080, in which case the dual pixel on here is really nice. But the X-T20 is really good at that too. So it's a really tough call. 
I would say if you're leaning towards the 20, there's probably a reason you probably like it better and it's fine to go with that. But get in the store, get them in your hands, try them out first if you can. Um, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Leave your opinion in the comments below. What would you guys do and why? Let's help out Junior here. Thanks for your question, Junior. And um, as I said, I'm really looking forward to seeing what our viewers have to say here because this is a tough decision for me. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.